All right, you guys ready? This is episode right, right. six, three sixteen, three sixteen. Um, I'm gonna God so loved the world. I'm gonna start it. Um, and gave his only begotten son. That whoever okay. believes in Wait, God. Wait, what's this called again? Did you just say? 316. For God. John. 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 316. Oh my God, Brian, these subtitles. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Turn off these doing? fucking subtitles. <laughs> what the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Wait. Jack again, his eye. Oh. oh! This is the beginning. Or is he waking up there again? Oh, this is the way she put them back? Wow. Wasn't there a lot of things? What? Yeah. Yeah. What'd it say? I wish. Right? I don't know. Did I read it right? Do you have some sort of like angel before? Or the. The first time he's ever had a gash in the middle of the night. Yes, first time he had a huge gash. Yeah, he had a gash. There's no gash here. Get him, Jerry. Maybe he's Jerry. Huh? Curly? Yeah. Curly? Whoa. Oh my god. I mean, feet first, Jesus. Jack. Jesus, you don't have to be a hero. And <laughs> die. Down but the. Like, just fucking. Doesn't he, though? I mean, but like, why did it have to be a show off? Just jump in. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's it. I thought it was like a small child. I, I thought it was two. <laughs> yeah, that was like. Uh... It looks like a little boy. It's <laughs> for me. Yeah. We're back. Yeah, what the hell happened? No, oh, right. It's gonna show us. It likes to do this sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Day. Oh, yada yada yada. Remember this one's name? Yes, uh, Miranda. Eloise Hawking. Oh, Eloise. Eloise Hawking. So yes. Close. If it was multiple choice, I would 100% got it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was like the room. The thing that was swinging in the room with the. the... Yeah. Remember? I mean, from like an episode ago when we saw it? <laughs> a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Was it this room? Yeah. Yep. What is this place? Yeah. The Dharma Initiative called it the Lamp Post. This is how they found the island. Oh. All right. Interesting. I think Maya has a question. Maya, are you confused? I would like to know where Vincent is. <laughs> 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 Where is Vincent? When is Vincent? When is Vincent? <laughs> is Vincent when is Vincent? Did you know about this place? No. No, I didn't. Wasn't he is in he telling the truth? Ago? Probably not. Probably not. Uh -huh. I apologize if this is confusing, but let's pay attention, yes? <laughs> the room I stand she in was constructed sick. years ago over a unique pocket of electromagnetic energy. That energy connects to similar pockets all over the world. The people who built this room, however, were only interested in one. The island. Yes, the island. They'd gathered proof that it existed. They knew it was out there somewhere, but they just couldn't find it. Then a very clever fellow built this pendulum on the theoretical notion that they should stop looking for where the island was supposed to be and start looking for where it was going to be. What do you mean? where it was going to be. Well, this fellow presumed, and correctly as it turned out, that the island was always moving. I came here to deliver a message. Daniel Faraday. Your son, send me here. He wanted me to tell you that he and all the people on the island need your help. Consider the message delivered. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Desmond, but the island isn't done with you yet. 
This woman cost me four years of my life, four years that I'll never get back, because you told me that I was supposed to go to that island. Nigeria Airways, flight 316. 316. If you have any hope of the island bringing you back, it must be that plane. You need to recreate as best you can the circumstances that brought you there in the first place. That means as many of the same people as you are able to bring with you. Her voice. What's this? It's John Locke's suicide note. What? John is going to be a proxy. A substitute. A substitute for who? Which dead. is why you need to give John something of your father's. Oh, stop thinking how ridiculous it is. And start asking yourself whether or not you believe it's going to work. That's why it's called a leap of faith, Jack. Thomas the Apostle, when Jesus wanted to return to Judea, knowing that he would probably be murdered there. Thomas said to the others, let us also go that we might die with him. But Thomas was not remembered for this bravery. His claim to fame came later when he refused to acknowledge the resurrection. He just couldn't wrap his mind around it. The story goes that he needed to touch Jesus' wounds to be convinced. So was he? Of course he was. We're all convinced sooner or later, Jack. Where are you going? Oh, I made a promise to an old friend of mine. Just a loose end that needs tying up. <gasps> what? What? So sneaky. And then? So you, sneaky. Your friend? What do you think he's gonna do? I have no freaking clue. He's gonna bring John back to life. I want Jack to read that suicide now. Very wanting him to read it ASAP. I'm sure he's gonna stare at it for a little while. I want him to open it and read it out loud. <laughs> oh yeah, no questions. Oh. He did what? This is the fourth time he's left. He's got to follow the rules or he'll have to move to our fully assisted facility. I'm going to help you unpack, Granddad. But I think I might be... might be going away for a while. Are these yours, Granddad? No. Those were your father's. Oh. Wow. These shoes. Can I take them? Be my guest. Oh my god, terrifying. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? That just, just hearing a noise when you think you're And to think alone. that, like, someone is in your house. To walk in a dark room. Oh that's god, just kill dumb. me, yeah, kill me. Turn on a light. Freaking light on. You want me to go with you? You will never ask me about Aaron. Do you understand, Jack? She's Ooh. always ready to bone when she's struggling. Struggle bone. Hello, Jack. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Is everything all right? Listen, we don't have much time. I've been uh, oh. sidetracked, and I need oh. you to pick up Fox's body and take it to the airport. Hmm. And yet, you can have that back. You know, I've already heard everything you had to say, John. Oh, read it. I need to know what it Why says. Don't you read it. Do it for us. Rest in peace. Bitch. My condolences. Sorry you lost your friend. Hey. Who is that? He's an actor. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's been good stuff. 
How astute. Movies and movies and TV. <laughs> they skipped a bit. <laughs> hey. You skipped everything. Thank you, sir. Row eight on your left. Eight. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What the heck? No one told me he was going to be here. Who told you to be here, Hugo? Is everything okay? You did tell them to go. Yes. Yes, everything's fine. Jack Shepard, seat 8C? Yes. Security found this while screening your cargo. Eh. Now, if you two don't mind taking your seats, we are going to be pushing oh back. Oh my gosh. Read it. Read it! Out. There are other people on this plane. What's going to happen to them? Who cares? Same Ben who killed Martin Keeney. He just killed everyone on that boat. So, so we have a lot of questions, I'm assuming. A million. An absolute million questions. Mm. I'm sure they'll get around to answer all of them. Eventually. Mind if I crash with you? Captain Frank J. Lapidus, and on behalf of the entire flight crew, welcome aboard. Who? Frank J. Lapidus? Mm. Oh, the pilot! The pilot! From the first flight? Mm. The helicopter pilot. Frank! Oh! Who was supposed Frank to be flying Lapita. 815. Remember? Hello, Doc. Yeah. But he couldn't. Small world. He couldn't make it that way. What are you doing here, Frank? Well, I picked this gig up about eight months ago. I fly this around all the time. Sometimes eight. I take the big birds into the deli. Uh. Yes. That's Saeed. <laughs> We're not going to Guam, are we? Very <laughs> good. Change course! Oh my god. Remember how Frank was supposed to be flying the original flight? Yes. Yeah. He felt so guilty about it. How can you read? My mother taught me. <laughs> <laughs> and what is gonna happen? You tell me, Jack, you're the one that got to stay after school with Miss Hawking. <laughs> stay after school. Oh my god, he's being so funny. <laughs> Did you know the lock killed himself? No. No, I didn't. Open it. Open it. Oh. Oh. Is it? What timing? This is yeah. Wow. You two are funny. Yo, don't you? I know, I hate it. Ugh. Whopper.
Cannot compute, cannot compute, cannot compute. <laughs> Talk to the subscribers right now. Look them right in the eye while I get myself. I mean, it's crazy. This is a really good episode. I think I really want to know who got them all back together. I really want to know what happened to Aaron. Um, I really want to know what happened to Ben, why his face is all beat up. Um, I really want to know what happened to Sawyer and what happened to Juliet. Um, I want to know why Saeed's with that chick. That's a lot that I want to know. But I don't know if I'm ever going to find out. Um, I have a question. Hmm. What are your questions? I already said all of them to the camera. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, like, how did they all get convinced to go on the plane? Why is Saeed, you know, under arrest? Who's that person? Who's that person? Where's Aaron? Why is Ben's face fucked up? Who's that one person in the show that's an actor? Who's that um, person? Uh... What has Jim been doing? Where's Sawyer? Where's Juliet? John's coming back, obviously, but I'm not sure how. Um, yeah, why is Jin in that van with Dharma stuff on? Actually, I think I know why he is, obviously. I mean, they're probably still time jumping, maybe. Also, how was, um... I want to call him Hopper. I have no idea why. Uh, uh, um, Hopper? Awkward scientist guy. Daniel, Daniel Faraday. Daniel Faraday. Daniel Faraday, how come he was, no, like, he? shown with the Dharma people when they were discovering that rock or whatever, like, the beginning of, like, a couple episodes ago? Mm -hmm. He's wearing the hard hat and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's in Dharma gear, and now Jin's in Dharma gear. Maybe they had this Dharma undercover operation where they're trying to do something and change the future, but then if they change the future, then will that change the past? And then if they're on the island now, what, what timeline are they on? Is the island still going? Do they cause it to keep yeah, going? Yeah, what's the timeline? Did it no, stop no, going? No, no, no. You, you, no, you don't understand. See, see time... It's, it, it's like a string. Like you can move forward on the string, backward on the string. But whatever you do, you can't create a new string. Whatever happened, happened. That's what Daniel says. Wow. Yeah, but that was the Daniel on that string. Maybe Daniel on another <laughs> string is like, yeah. that Daniel was wrong, and I'm right. That's true. How All many right. Daniel strings are there? All right, really quick. Um, uh, there's three things I wanted to point out to you guys. One, what's what's the name of the airline that they were flying on? Three sixteen. Oh, oh. Ajira. Oh. Ajira. Ajira. Um, and if you don't remember, remember when Sawyer and the rest of the, the gang bottle, the, the water bottle. Yes. Ajira oh yeah, water Ajira bottles. water bottle. Oh, yeah. Ajira flights. <gasps> so that, so they're still alive. That may or. or well, they were jumping through time, okay. and they found some water bottles from an Ajira flight. Jack was talking about his dad's shoes, right? And how uh, when his dad died, like he was he was in Sydney, didn't have any shoes, and right. so he was like, "Here, just you know, here's a pair of crappy tennis shoes," because he just didn't fucking didn't care enough. Love his so, dad. Right, exactly. So, do you remember <clears throat> one? Like the first couple of episodes, there was the episode White Rabbit where Jack kept seeing his like, dad and kept walking seeing around his dad. His dad was island. walking around. He's walking around with white tennis shoes. Yeah. Whenever we uh, saw the, I remember. the vision of his dad. I Do you also remember that when Jack woke up in the bamboo forest in the very, very first episode and he stood up and he started stumbling through the he found the alcohol bottles in his in his coat pocket mm -hmm. and he noticed that he had a fucking cut in his side, yes. and then he started walking through the bamboo, and there was that one shot of him coming around a piece of bamboo, and there was a white shoe hanging from it. Yes, I remember. Okay. Wow. Just wanted, just wanted to point that out to you, that, wow. that, was, his, that was his dad's shoe. Um, wow. Uh, and then uh, wow. the other thing I wanted to talk about, hmm. it was more of a question, because it seemed like in this episode, a lot of people kept asking Ben, like... Did you know anything about this? What? Or, or did you know that this was going to happen? Or did, and he just always he always goes no. Yeah, he always goes yes or no. It's just like how often do you think Ben lies. tells the truth or lies? Like, what do you think the ratio know. is? I mean, seriously, no idea. He also bends the truth or tells like half truth. He's right. like, well, technically she I was. Think he's like blah, blah, blah. seventy percent of the time lying. So Monster. it's just incredible the amount of lying that he does. He's such a well-written character. Such a Niago. He is such a... He is Niago. a Niago. He's the ultimate Iago. He um, is. It's a Shakespeare character. But, villain. All right, guys. We're going to get going because we want to watch uh, The Life and Death of Jeremy Bentham. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here we go.